32 games, 85 practices, 18,000 miles, three championships. After all that, the Bobcat basketball season comes down to just 108 hours. I would say this to you, man. If you're going to be happy to go to the NCAA tournament and just be happy to be out there and enjoy all of it and say, hey, we'll wait till next year and we'll make our move then, then I'm not going to go with you. That's flat out. You know, it's, uh, we've worked too hard to get where we are, and we're too good a basketball team. I think we're focused enough that uh, we know we're not just going to be happy to, to, to play. And uh, we expect to, to get to a Final Four. And I think that's the way you guys are thinking. That's certainly the way I'm thinking, and I'm not blowing smoke in your ears. Uh, you know, I, I'm serious about that. You can see here, just watch 33, get a feel for athleticism. You know, he struggles here, guy goes around him, they help, penetrate and pass, you get a good shot. The MAC title is less than 48 hours old. The NCAA bracket's less than 24. Larry Hunter knows the clock's ticking, counting down to a first round appointment with Bobby Knight and his Indiana Hoosiers. You gotta protect the ball, they really dig for the ball. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three. Good. Okay. Feet. Toughen up. Toughen up. Good. Good pressure. Good pressure. Murph. Good. Good. JT. Right there. You have to spin. Good job, Jeff Bowles. Watch this. The Bobcats take care of business, making the most of their Monday workout. Two precious hours of practice. Every hour is precious to Jason Terry early the next morning. Juggling dreams of the Final Four with final exams isn't exactly a layup. The hardest part, I think, is time management. You really got to know how to manage your time. If you're not too well at managing your time, then you're going to be up all night, you know, studying and stuff like that. You just really got to take advantage of what little bit of time you have free. The long and short of it, this is one tough week. Uh, last exam was a lot of fun. You know, those essay exams. Uh, you get to write everything you know, and when you get out of there, you remember everything you needed to write. So uh, I think we survived it OK. Good afternoon, sports media. Kevin Reed of WLOH Radio. When it was flashed up on the TV screen that we would be playing uh, University of Indiana. You made those through the uh, NCAA, right? Those credential requests and everything. Like I've been scoring against man-to-man -man defense. At Ohio University, I'm Dom Tiberi, eyewitness sports. <laughs> Get this on camera. I come out here in jeans, hat, gold chain, shoes unlaced, and put up numbers. <clears throat> And in jeans, I can still strip cords. The media frenzy's over. The bottom line's out between the lines, where time and tempers are running short. Gino. I think we're getting, you know, into a mindset now where we're ready to take care of business. I think we're focused on what we need to do. I think we're excited. I think the positive thing from a coaching standpoint is that they're really loose, and I think that's positive going into a big game. Attack with aggressive. Attack with aggressiveness, Jeff. Good, good, good. Yes. As soon as we go over there thinking, oh, that's Bobby Knight. Oh man, they got these players and his tradition and all that. We're beat. You know. Yeah, we played so, them. We played them before. I mean, it ain't like we ain't played on big team. You know, we it ain't new to us. We're just gonna take it right to them. We're wearing our travel. Everybody's wearing the same travel outfit. One, two, three. Yeah. Ohio University, welcome to Damon. When we found out that OU had uh, had made it to Landover, we said, you know, what a perfect opportunity to. Just, you know, kind of show off OU and, and also uh, get something going with the uh, get something going with the athletes and and, and you know we're, we're big OU basketball fans and, and it was fun to get everybody in here. In the practice today, I thought we you know, took another step in the right direction toward Friday. Larry Hunter's good night is an upbeat recap of one very long travel day, and with his Bobcats tucked in, there's still time for some midnight reflection. I think Thursday is a big, big day for us in terms of us winning the game on Friday. I really do. And I think it's really key how I articulate certain things to the team tomorrow, how we handle it tomorrow as a team, and how my assistant coaches and some of the leaders on our team 
you know, communicate with each other and handle situations and, uh, because of all the hoopla. The cats find themselves with some time on their hands. Options? There's only one, and it's down in the district. First stop, the Capitol steps for a photo op. Touring Washington offers an interesting tournament timeout. At the wall, before Honest Abe, and on the sidewalk for some profound political analysis. Clinton, we just, me and Murph just analyzed it. He's a regular, kind listen, of chunky listen. guy who likes to jog and he likes, he likes Arkansas Razorbacks. What makes him different from anyone else? My dad's a regular chunky guy that likes to jog too, and he's yeah. a school teacher. Why isn't he a president? Yeah, My dad doesn't jog. But, but he's uh, looked to. This is a nice side out here. He's looked to as this, as this position. It's just a, it's a, a, immortal. Yeah, it's we really don't, weird. We don't, we're not, it's we're not seeing it. You know, it's just about why. That's all we're asking is why. Thursday's itinerary holds one more destination, U.S. Air Arena. And with the Hoosiers loosening up, the Bobcats tighten the game plan. He didn't have a great league year. Uh, great player, but I think injuries have slowed him down some this year. At last, the court belongs to the Bobcats. It's 24 hours to tip off. It's almost showtime. It was all right, not bad, not good as it should have been. I ain't scared of them, I'm ready to take it right at them. The practice wasn't too bad, you know, it started out kind of shaky, but there towards the end, you know, we really picked it up and got it done. We're gonna be ready for tomorrow. I think that helped get some of the nerves cured. I like our, our confidence level, and uh, uh, you know, I think we, we focused in pretty well, and you know, we're making progress toward Friday, and you know, anxious to see what happens tomorrow night. What's the score here, anybody know? Anybody know the score? Their day's work done, Ohio players kick back, content to watch others take their best shot. Down the hall, Larry Hunter has his eyes on the screen too. More tape of IU late into the night. It's 21 hours to game time. He's gonna bait you in here. And finally, it's game day. One last walkthrough, setting up a nerve-wracking 12-hour wait for tip-off. A lot of bodily functions, <laughs> a lot of nerves. I get really bad before a game. I'll get, probably get a fever here pretty soon. Um, a lot of stomach problems, so I, I hate this part right now. I just want it now. We're ready to play. I really think so. So they act like they've been here before, act like they're not too, you know, they're not in awe by any means. Got no chance. Six hours to tip off. Big time. It's a showdown. It's what we worked so hard for. It's the longest six hours of my life. It seemed like it's about six days. <laughs> Watching everyone else play. Faced Oklahoma State with 28 as New Mexico State held Big Bryant Reeves to 11. I don't know. I, I imagine either some kind of lasagna type thing or possibly some chicken. Hey, this is my mom. Principal at Arlington High School back home in Indianapolis. Mm. He did doing well. Hello, I'm real nervous. <laughs> Nothing to be nervous, just another game. From this point on, it's all serious. A little anxious still. We've been waiting all day and there's still a couple more hours. The long wait is finally over. It's time for game 33. All the practices, all the miles, all the victories come down to this. The thing about it is you're playing Indiana for the national championship. And, uh, that's a great feeling. Uh, that's the way it ought to be. You'll, you, you dream about having that opportunity to do that. Uh, but you, you know, the thing about the sprint, you know, we talked about you know, the, the last two miles of the marathon and we know we're going to finish. You know, we know we're going to finish up there pretty high, all those kind of things. But now you're jockeying for positions. Yeah. 
Find a way, don't forget to have some fun. Let's go.